Now it's time to meet the 19 Kindness Champion finalists. Each of them were nominated because of their acts of kindness in the community. This is a moment I've been waiting for. We've seen the votes pouring in over the last few weeks, and now we get to announce the winners. I'm nervous for all of them, and I'm not even part of it. But <laughs> the top winners were selected by the most votes received. But everyone is truly a winner. So congratulations to all the finalists. Christine Hutchinson. Cyril Skip Rockham. Gregory Viceroy. Janet Gianetta. Jeannie Marzullo and Laurel Spuler. Joseph Sullivan. Judy Parcells, Juliana and Karen Zobel, Carrie Fenton Foley, Lauren Sievers, Lori Baharza, Lori Yakoviak and Andrew Carnwright, Maggie Meir, Megan Miskovic, Nafi Jallo, Olivia H. Leibowitz, Priscilla Ann Burt. Sharon Denise Tony Finch. Stephanie Fitzpatrick. Okay, it's time. The envelope, please. All right, you ready? And the third runner up is. You do the honors, Ryan. Stephanie Fitzpatrick! Yay! Nominated by Mike Fitzpatrick and Amanda Perkins thinks of others before herself. She runs an amazing program working with horses, people with disabilities, veterans, crime victims, and more. She is the equestrian sport director for New York Special Olympics. She volunteered preparing meals at the Red Hook response during the pandemic and was at one time the humane officer for the county. During all of this, she still finds time to work in her restaurant. Amazing. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Fitzpatrick. I just want to say thank you to Mike and Amanda for nominating me for the 2021 Kindness Award for United Way. I also, um, just a quick little about me, I am very active in our farm, which we do therapeutic riding at. We also have Special Olympics here, so I'm very active with New York State Special Olympics. I'm also active with our local rescue squad here in Milan as an EMT. In the past, I have been the humane officer here for the county, so I helped animals and humans, and I really, really try to help when I can for the community. Thank you again for everyone's vote. And the second runner up is Sharon Denise Tony Finch. She was nominated by Tyrone Finch and Wanda Tony, has worked hard building her YIT foundation that helps military families with their preemies, as well as homeless veterans and low income vets. The foundation is based on her experience as a Purple Heart veteran and a mother of a preemie. Unfortunately, Yurik Israel Tony did not survive, but through him, the YIT Foundation helps homeless veterans and veteran families in their time of need. Hello, my name is Sharon Tony Finch, the founder of YIT Foundation. This foundation helps National Guard and Reserves military families strive during the times where their preemies are in the NICU. In New York, there are no NICUs on these military posts. And we are here to help them get through the hardest times. We have helped over 430 families within the Orange, Ulster, Sullivan, and Dutchess County. Now it's time, Ryan. The first runner up is, drum roll. Carrie Fenton Foley. Congratulations! Yay! Woo! <laughs> Nominated by Kristen Jensen, is a, she's a single mother of four children, ages 13 to 21. Good for you. She is a survivor <laughs> of domestic violence, and shortly after she removed herself and her young family from the situation, their home was struck by lightning and burned. Carrie learned firsthand about the challenges of maintaining a roof over your head, food on the table, and going without. When the family regained stability, she decided to put that experience to use helping others and instilling a sense of service in her children as a way of saying thank you to those who helped her along the way. Hi, I'm Carrie Fatten Foley, and I want to say thank you, Kristen Jensen, for the nomination. And I'm truly grateful to be a part of the United Way's uh, Kindest Champions finalists and to be surrounded by so many kind hearted people. I think that kindness is something that we all need, especially after this past year. 
And yet being kind is something that doesn't necessarily cost any money. It's a fact that I've imparted on my children from the time they were very young. And this past year, we were able to do two community-wide projects that helped to spread a little bit of more kindness. Um, we started Warwick Spreads the Warmth, which allowed for cold weather accessories to be shared by community members to others who might need them um, by hanging them on community parks. And then in the summer, we started Sunshine in a Box, and we filled um, boxes with uh, all sorts of summer fun toys and water guns and water balloons and hoping to spread a little bit of joy uh, to the children of the school district and the local food pantries. So my last parting thought is that it doesn't matter what you do in life, but you should be kind. And the 2021 Kindness Champion is... <laughs> Skit! Skip, Skip Rockham. <laughs> Cyril Skip Rockham, nominated by Dr. Mark Vellante, is a family man, an accomplished retired educator, and most of all, a giver of his time and leadership. Skip's got a huge reputation, by the way. Yes, very big. Skip has delivered food for Meals on Wheels, coordinated a golf tournament for Meals on Wheels for 16 years, and was inducted into the Dutchess County Baseball Hall of Fame. When his wife Barbara died from cancer, he led a team for Relay for Life for seven years. Hello, I'm Skip Rodkamp, and I would like to thank Mark Vellante for giving me this opportunity and to congratulate the other 18. I've spent 35 years in education at RCK, John Jay, and Arlington. I spent 27 years in the Fish Guild Rotary and 25 years mentoring students over at John Jay in the Interact Club. Numerous years of Wappingers Falls, uh, doing the Meals on Wheels, delivering. 18 years of raising $151,000 in the New Hamburg Yacht Club Day of Golf for the Meals on Wheels, and 12 years as president of the Dutchess County Baseball Hall of Fame. And my proudest moment is I have six grandkids. Thank you very much. Good luck to all, and thank you, United Way. Congratulations! Each of the winners will receive an award package, including a donation to the charity of their choice that serves Duchess in Orange County. Now, before we chat with the finalists, let's remind everyone to go to www.uwdor.org forward slash breakfast 2021. You can see the virtual program journal, the kindest champion finalists, the virtual auction that's open for bids until Friday, September 24th at 5 p.m. And donate if you aren't able to go online during the program. Also, United Way would love your help in determining for its work in the community. So please take five minutes to go complete the new community survey. I've had so much fun being with all of you this morning, yes. and especially you, Annie. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, thanks, Brian. Thanks, you too. I know I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning, bright and early. On Q92, make sure you wake up with us each weekday morning, 5 to 10 a.m. Now, but before we sign off, let's open up to the Kindest Champion winners and remember to... Live, Live United. United! Live 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 United. Live United. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us. And I am going to turn it over to Annie and Ryan to say a few words and interview our champions. Yay, congratulations to all the kindest champions. Uh, let's first talk with Cyril Skip Rockham. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. There you are. Good there morning, are. sir. How are you? Congratulations. As I once said, can you hear me now? <laughs> Again, well, I just want to thank you. That's, that's an overwhelming honor. I received many things in my life, but this sticks right out there at my age doing what I do. Just want to th thank Mark Vellante and congratulations to the other 18. Reading your stories brought tears to my eyes as we built up to this day and happy for the United Way to create such an honor for fundraising and helping others. And thank you for my family and for friends supporting me. And uh, it was just overwhelming to be here today with you guys and hear all your stories. We are truly blessed with what United Way does. Thank you very much. And thank you, and thank you for all you do. We love that you said your greatest joy is your grandkids and you're setting a beautiful example for them as a grandpa yep. to look up to with all these wonderful things. So thank you for all you do in the community.
Thank you, thank you for everyone. And congratulations one last time. Yay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, next up, let's talk to Kerry Fenton Foley, our first runner up. Kerry, congratulations. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, morning. I just want to say congratulations, Skip. Uh, I it was I was honored to be nominated alongside of you. Uh, you have quite the background, and congratulations to everyone um, that was also nominated. Well, congratulations to you. Most importantly, yes. And I think Carrie, there's something to be learned from your story that you took something that I can't even imagine what you went through and turned it into a positive to help other people more, from yeah, your right. experience. And I think that's uh, a beautiful thing. And a mom of four. I mean, <laughs> can we just give it up for that? Yeah, that's I what I. Of four, amazing. I was, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but you know, sometimes when bad things happen, we can sometimes turn inward and just not want to deal. But you just took it and you turned it into a positive. So for all that, thank you for being so kind. And you're right, we need to be kind to each other. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything. I love that. That was awesome. It's Crazy. it's so true. And we need it more than ever right now in the world that we live in. So thank you for that. Uh, it was beautifully said. Thank you. Um, I just, I agree with what you said, uh, Annie and Ryan, that um, it, like I said, it doesn't cost anything. Um, and that we can, at any age, we can be kind to someone, even just by sending a quick text, saying hi, you know, holding a door for somebody. Um, it doesn't have to cost any money. It doesn't have to take up a lot of time. It just, you know, spreads a little bit of joy and hopefully it will keep passing forward in that. And through your experiences, where do you find the greatest need is with families? Is it donations of goods for the families or where do you see the greatest need being? Um, I think, I mean, I think we learned, especially over this past year and a half that there, it, we can easily quickly go from having everything to going without. And, you know, food is always such a huge um, thing that gives people sustainability. And then if you have, if you have food in your body, you can fuel your mind as well. Um, and so that of course is always, I think one of the biggest things. And then even just having a safe place to live, a safe, warm place um, to live as well. Um, you know, and then clothing, of course, but that yeah. can be, you can, I feel like you can use clothing much longer. Or you can, you know, wear something with holes in it, but once you go through a box of cereal, you use your last, you know, last container of peanut butter, then you don't have anything left. So that food is something that's always important for. Which is a great food. reminder if you see food drive happening anywhere, you know, just even you grab a couple canned goods, you know, and just make sure you donate. And congratulations once again, Carrie. Thank and keep much. spreading that message. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Next up, we have Sharon Denise Tony Finch. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hello, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely want to say congrats to Skip and to Carrie. You both do amazing jobs out here in these counties. And definitely just something to look up forward to. So hopefully connecting. And to you, Sharon, as well, you know, um, Sometimes we don't see the staggering numbers of vets that are homeless or even think about people that have preemies and how much time you're in the NICU. It's every day. And last thing you want to do is leave your baby. So you end up spending 12 hours there while, well, who's at home making sure our bills are paid and meals are made if you have other kids. And so you've really helped so many. What was the number again? You said 400? 430 families we currently are helping. And that's just not including national guard reserves and active there's not a NICU in new york on these military posts so since we started this in 2016 we grew and we still continue helping those families we're looking forward to when hopefully when they're turn 18 that they make it because there's over 120 that are disabled mm -hmm. that we are currently helping within that number that they get a scholarship through us because it's a long haul and besides that we were able to house 130 homeless veterans within um covid finding affordable housing as well for them wow, wow. kudos to you yeah and if someone knows of some you know we were speaking to someone who was a vet recently that said you know veterans are very, you know, strong and proud and sometimes might not want to admit that they're struggling with food insecurity or paying their bills. If you are aware of a, a military vet that needs assistance, how do they go about getting involved with you? Um, they could definitely connect with me on, I have my website, YIT Foundation. 
and as well um my person i always keep my personal number available as well on there um we just had a stand down event in orange county that it was so many that came together at the elks lodge in middletown that we were able to give them brand new coats brand new boots I'm not gonna lie, we still have like three cases and I'm looking towards hopefully Rebecca United Way can help me out with this and we could give it to to them. Um our mission keeps going. Well, thank you for all your hard work and the kindness you spread and the joy you spread. It's gotta be really inspiring to see these kids as they grow and they succeed yes. and they continue to be healthy and to know that you played a part in that. So it's gotta be amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. I want to just say a special thanks. I'm at the Westchester Hospital now. I want to definitely give a huge thank you to Trina Parter, who is a wonderful NICU nurse that's here that always let me use her office. And when things go left sometimes with the babies, she gives me a call so I could run up here and do what's needed and be that support for the family. Amazing. Amazing work. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. All right, let's talk to our third runner up, Stephanie Fitzpatrick. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for um, allowing me to be in this um, wonderful organization. We here at the farm do many different programs with crime victims and Horses for Heroes programs, which involve police, fire, EMS, um, veterans. We just love what we do with the county and Special Olympics. Um, I am the state coordinator for Special Olympics, and we're so excited that state games is going to be happening again this year up in Glens Falls, um, which we really, really love what we do here at the farm. I love your office, by Thank the way. Thank you, everybody. It looks so fun. <laughs> I know. Isn't it a nice office? I just love it. <laughs> it's the greatest. It. Until a horse comes out. When you're sitting there eating your lunch, they reach out and eat your lunch with you. I mean, they're the best animals, they so are. why not? Thank you again, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and thank you so much. They no, do the best oh, therapy, let me tell you. That's what I was going to say. They're very healing, aren't they? I mean, even if you just look at a horse in the in the eyes, in the face, you just automatically just puts you in such a good place, I can imagine. Oh, it, it does. I used to, when I was a humane law officer here in the county years ago, I would come home and shovel the stalls. And let me tell you, that was the best therapy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to, well, sorry to cut you off, Annie. I want to thank you for being, you know, the voice for, for all the animals over the years and yeah. uh, for, for helping that. And I think that's amazing work that you do. Thank you. Yeah. And not just that, we were reading that you worked with um, Red Hook Responds by making meals during the pandemic. So not only were you doing all of this and, you know, also, also working with the Special Olympics, but you were making meals. What was that experience like? Oh, it was amazing. I had so much fun doing it. My business partner and I went and um, helped prepare the meals for them or we um, served them to the drivers. And let me tell you, there was so many amazing volunteers that helped during the pandemic for that. Um, it, it was just wonderful to see the community come together and really help out. We, um, made, we had to do some stuff with the restaurant for them too or whatever we needed to do. We just jumped in and helped when it first started. And then it kind of fizzled down a little bit for us. And there was so many of the volunteers that helped, <clears throat> which was amazing to let them come in and help with it too, because it was just an amazing feeling to see everybody come together as a team. And, and Dan Budd was just amazing about putting everything together. Wow. Well, I couldn't have said it better. Like Cyril Skip Rockham said, everybody's <laughs> stories were so beautiful and amazing. And, you know, kudos to everyone for spreading kindness and being there for the community and this day is for you and moving forward. So thank you so much. And if you ever need anything from us at Q92, any messages you want to get out there about any food drives you're having or any events you want promoted, please feel free to reach out to Ryan or myself and we'll make sure we get that broadcast Great, thank for you. Can we give we a shout thank out? You. A, can we give a shout out and a thank you to Annie and Ryan? Did they do a great job or what? <laughs> they did an amazing job. No, thank nowhere you. near, nowhere near what the thank people you. nominated. Yeah, and those that I know, but you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And you know, congratulations to Biz and Sally, uh, well-deserved honors, and to our amazing kindness champions. I'm always in awe when I read all of the work that you guys are doing and everything. And I want to thank everyone for joining us this morning. We had, I think, almost 170 people on, which is amazing for a virtual event. 
So uh, thank you. I know a lot of board members on here and my staff and everything. So on behalf of all of them, I want to thank you and everyone have a great day. Remember the bid and our journal is going to be on and everything. Um, so, but thank you to Emily Darrow who did this video. <laughs> Superwoman. She was here at four this morning. Yes. So, uh, but it was a great morning. Thank you all. Yes, go get bidding and don't yes. outbid me on the wine. I want that. Okay, you hear? Okay. And you gotta share. All right, fine. Thank you, everyone.